we have with us Mr. Patrick Brown, who is Member of Parliament from Barrie. He is running for Ontario PC leadership. He is a good friend of Mr. Narendra Modi since when he was a Chief Minister and we are going to talk to him about his impressions of Narendra Modi. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, Mr. Patrick Brown, when did you first meet uh, Mr. Narendra Modi? Well, first met Narendra Modi at his trade conference some seven, eight years ago in uh, Gandhinagar and uh, built a close relationship with uh, then Chief Minister Modi and have returned uh, eight times to visit him uh, in Gujarat and uh, was always very impressed with his focus on the tasks at head, whether it was building the economy in Gujarat, recruiting the biggest companies, the biggest jobs, whether it was Tata or Alliance, he got a sense that he wanted to see his state as the economic engine of India. And that's why I'm so excited to see him as Prime Minister. I know he's going to do great things and understands that the job of government is to be an incubator of jobs. Okay. Since he has become the Prime Minister of India, what changes he has brought in? Well, I think what you see right now is he's creating a sense of optimism in India, a sense of hope that India can compete worldwide. Uh, I also think he's bringing a, a new sense of uh, clean, clean government, transparent government. Uh, small gestures, but they're, they're important. You know, the fact that cabinet ministers couldn't hire uh, relatives anymore, uh, I think it means he's changing the old days, the old days where it was who you knew was the most important. I think Mr. Modi, Prime Minister Modi, is, is very keen to change that. I also think internationally on foreign affairs, you're going to see India being included at the table, being considered uh, a key stakeholder uh, more and more often. Uh, if you look at the crowds and the tension that Narendra Modi is getting around the globe, the fact that he was able to fill Madison Square Gardens in New York, and I guarantee you when he comes to Canada, we're going to be able to fill the Air Canada Centre or Sky Dome when he comes because there's excitement about about his leadership, about his push for transparency, his push for economic development, and he might be a transformative Prime Minister in India. He might be the person that say, that really is able to inspire the middle class to do and achieve more. And and what do you think about Indo-Canadian relations? Will they improve? Absolutely. Uh, you know that the Prime Minister of Canada, Prime Minister Harper, and Prime Minister Modi have had some good initial conversations. They spoke on the phone shortly after his victory uh, in the spring. They met for the first time in Australia. It went off very well. I think there is uh, a lot of mutual areas of um, interest, uh, whether it's on security, uh, where the Prime Minister share um, a similar strong stance against terrorism, whether it's on economic development, where both um, Prime Ministers are very much pro-business, pro-small business, pro-economic pro development. Um, and so I'm, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty optimistic that it's going to be uh, a shiny moment for Canada-India relations. And then you're going to India, so for what purpose are you going there? Well, any time Prime Minister Modi asks for me to speak at his trade conference, I always accept. Okay. Uh, I've been honored to participate before, and uh, he's someone that I consider a friend and a, and a, and a great leader. And uh, uh, even though I'm so busy on the campaign trail, I'm going to India for two days because I can't say no to uh, a good friend and a great man in Render Modi. Thank you very much. Okay.